Hello folks, back at it with another EGR diagnosis. Got a 2000 Honda Accord V6 with a 3.0 VTEC. Um, came in with a P0401, which was EGR, um, insufficient flow, and a P14, oh, what is it, a 1491, I believe? Yeah, P1491, which is the EGR lift problem. Basically, these things have a common issue with the EGR passages clogging up. I've taken off the EGR valve here. Check down there, seems to be good. What you want to do on to, just to check the EGR valve and make sure the lift is, is opening up right here is the back probe, the pink wire, and just, and just right here. Back probe it and put it to power. It'll pop that open. If that works, great. Go ahead and fire the engine off too if you want to. And if it runs fine with the EGR valve off, then you got a clogged passage, which we come to the intake. Take the intake off, some bolts, vacuum lines, stuff like that. You gotta take off the um, throttle body. And to get the intake off, you just take got six or uh, seven, eight bolts right here. And you come to the clogged EGR passage right here. This is all a bunch of carbon buildup. And there's a TSB on this to repair this. Basically, you take a, a drill bit and just drill it out by hand. Take this out, kind of get this gunk out and uh, soak it with cleaner, and that's about it. And let it sit, and then kind of, you know, spray spray carb cleaner through it to, to, to clear that up. So, common thing, it'll cause admission failure, stuff like that, and the check engine light. And there's a Honda TSB, and the, and the TSB number, I believe, is 99-085. And that it addresses a uh, 98 to 2001 Honda Accords. 98 to 2000 Accords, V6 is all of them, and then the 01 V6 with a certain build date. So, any other questions on how to fix this stuff, let me know. And thank you for watching.